Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. Happy Thursday! Is it as cold where you are as it is here? Oh my goodness gracious. It was, I think, we got down to a record low of 24 or 25. I don't know, it was cold. Uh, let me see, i get y'all straight here, maybe. It's hard to tell, I can hardly see the top of the video. Okay, looks like we're pretty good. So, how's everybody's week going? If you join me, please be sure to give me a shout out, say hello, so that I know that you're here. Um, today we are playing with the February Paper Pumpkin Kit. It's called Safari Celebration. It's such a cute kit. It's got these little, um, they kind of have that sea glass look to them, but they're like little rocks for their embellishments. And there's the stamp set, which you can see I have everything all loaded, ready to go. And then, oh, these little monkeys and elephants are, and I think it's a gazelle. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what it is. Um, maybe an antelope. Uh, there's your printed instructions. Um, there he is. Isn't he cute? And then, of course, there's some vellum for the layers and our leaves. This go. This is supposed to coordinate with the artfully, ooh, artfully, artfully composed. I think we're going to use a piece of that designer series paper in just a minute. But these are your die cuts. There are those sweet little elephants. And I've used all the monkeys, so I'll show you that here in a minute. Roller skates, which there's a little backstory on that. The ink spot is Rich Razzleberry. Oh, it matches my my shirt almost. Um, sorry, squirrel. <laughs> um, some tags, and they have these cute little printed envelopes that coordinate with the card bases. Here are your card bases in Bumblebee, Soft Succulent, and Fresh Freesia. And then these guys, this one is in Pear Pizzazz, and then there's your Soft Succulent, and of course your Bumblebee. So, um, my card that I'm doing, hi Vicki, oh I know you're in Sacramento, hi I wish I was going with you guys. Have a really good time. I saw Jen last night, and she's going to give you a big fat hug for me. Um, hi, Janine. How are you? So anyway, um, squirrel, this is why I try not to do a lot of talking when I see people pop on, because I can totally start talking to everybody. Anyway, I used one of these envelopes for on my layout that I'm going to show you here in a second. And I didn't uh, use one of our regular envelopes for my card, because we're just going to use one of those. So let's clean up my mess here so I can show you my layout. It turned out super, super cute. I just absolutely love it. Um, we're going to need those there in a second. Put that down. So, now, not everybody knows, but I grew up in Southern California, and I was a complete rink rat. <laughs> um, in fact, my parents met at a skating rink. My husband's parents met at a skating rink. And, of course, I met Larry at a skating rink. So when I saw those little elephants, you knew what I was going to do with them. So these pictures are actually from my 60th surprise party that my family threw for me. And there I am with my little pineapple headdress on it that says 60 on it. But the pictures at our local skating rink went perfect with the color scheme in this. And, of course, you know, the roller skates. And the monkey went great with these little guys monkeying around. But I just, I fell in love with it and it was just meant to be. So my layout has a 12 by 12 piece of the Fresh Freesia. And then I just layered on a piece of 8.5 by 11 basic white. This is one of the card bases I laid down. And this is one of the envelopes I opened up and used as a layer also. I just, I basically just trimmed the edges and the bottom cut off the flap and I glued that down first and then the card base and then these guys are popped up with dimensionals and of course lots of bling I used our playful alphabet to die cut my 60 and then the um, 
photo mats are four and a quarter by, I'm sorry, four and an eighth by six and an eighth to go on my four by six photos. And then this little guy up here is not just decoration. It's my tag that has my journaling on it. And I use the, what is it, the delightful tag topper punch. So I'll just kind of tuck that back in here. And I used the black glitter ribbon and some fresh freesia and I double tied it and because of course that black glitter has got gling in it so I thought it went perfectly but that's my layout yeah I stamped the sentiment and the cupcake from the stamp set in fresh freesia and then I just dated it with a marker so didn't that turn out cute I just absolutely I guess I'm gonna have to use some more of it to finish scrapping that birthday party that was a fun time that's all my my chillins, so they're just a crazy bunch. In fact, we just spent the weekend with them all in San Jose at the Sharks game. Okay, so here's today's alternate card. And this has got a belly band on it. And I'm using a piece of that artfully composed, I think is what it's called, designer series paper to create the belly band. And then it opens up. And there's that monkey. He's just going to pop right out at you. And there's that same piece of designer series paper. And here's part of the card base. Isn't he cute? <laughs> he just makes me giggle when I look at him. And then this will just slip back over the top. Now, i me get you the measurements. I did write these down since there was so many score lines in this. So the card base is in soft succulent. And it measures ten and a half by five and a half, and then you turn it on the long side and you score it at four and a quarter, four and three quarters, five and a quarter, five and three fourths, and six and a quarter. Then I took one of the card bases and I cut it down to four by five and a quarter, both the front and the back. That artfully composed this piece here is two by twelve. Then the inside layer is four and a quarter by five, and then my sentiment layer is four and three quarters by, that's not right, it's four and three quarters, oh, three and a half. That's supposed to be three and a half, so don't pay attention to that number. It's actually three and a half, so that it layers on there and you can see the, the print on it. So let's get started with this, and I'll show you. Oh, before we do that, I thought I'd tell you I die cut the numbers in this. I used my mini cut and emboss machine. You know, our little baby guy. I thought I was going to bring him over. Oh, I did bring him over. Here he is. This little guy right here. And the reason I'm telling you this, for those that don't know, he is going on sale next week. He's going to be on sale for 20% off. He's perfect to take to crops. And not only is this going to be on sale, but Stampin' Up! is bringing some, you're going to have 12 different bundles on sale. And they all fit our little baby bug here. Baby, baby, I don't know, the little mini emboss machine. <laughs> Sounded better in my head when I was practicing this morning. So these are the 12 bundles that are going to be on sale. And they're actually bringing one, two, Three of the bundles, these are in the, the annual catalog now, but their bundle pricing went away at the beginning of the year. They're bringing them back, and they're also going to be on sale. So, the other reason I'm telling you this now, this goes, these go on sale March 1st. We are in the last few days of celebration. If you are on the fence of joining the family with Stampin' Up!, now would be the perfect time to do it. I say that because you'll spend $125, you will get, I'm sorry, you will choose, <coughs> excuse me, the, there's, we've had a lot of pollen in the air, you'll get to choose $125 in product and only spend $99 plus tax and free shipping. You'll get to choose two more stamp sets for free, any stamp set in either of the two catalogs, and then... You do this before February 28th, then on March 1st, you will get this for not only the 20% off that it's going to be on sale for everybody, but you'll also get your 20% off 
with your new discount. So you'll get this machine for 40% off. What a deal, huh? So that's just food for thought. I'll have all the links in today's blog post. We'd love to have you join our team. We have so much fun. In fact, Miss Vicki there that we chatted with, she's on the team, and she moved to Arizona, but that's okay because we have some in Arizona, some in Idaho, some in Texas, some in Oregon, and we still get together and play. So let's get started on our card today. These are all the pieces. Now, you can see I've done all the score lines. And the easiest way to make this card, once you've got the score lines, is fold that middle one down. You're going to fold this one back. Flip it over. Fold this one back. And then you're going to want to fold... And we're going to make a W is what we're doing. I'm going to fold that one. I should have my bone folder with me. Do I have my bone folder? Yes, I have a bone folder. Make those nice and crisp. Make sure they're nice and straight, too. And we're essentially going to make a W. And we're going to use some tear and tape. Okay, so let me show you what we got going on here. I have to look at my sample every single time I do this. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. <laughs> okay, so this is going to come up like this. This is going to come up like this. And this is going to come up like so. Fumble, fumble, fumble. There we go. It's a struggle the first couple times you do it, but it really does work. Okay, so there's your card front. If you turn it upside down, you can see the W. See it? That's when you know you got it right. So we'll fold those down. And we're going to use some tear and tape to secure that back end. So I'm only going to put it on the one side. So we're going to do it here. Put one there. And then we're going to put one on this side. And I have pictures on today's blog post showing you where the score lines are and how it's supposed to look so that after you've watched this and you want to go back and make one, you can go back to that blog post and see where everything sits. And my little W, so I'll take that off. And then these guys just fold close like so, okay? So that's done. Now, we're going to put a piece on the inside also. Where did I put it? See, I've already lost my tear and tape. Can you see my tear and tape? I don't see my tear and tape. <laughs> oh, here it is. It's in my bag. Ay, 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 squirrel. Okay, so we're going to lay this inside. We're not going to take this off yet, but we'll just get it out of the way so that it'll be all ready to go. I did not give you the measurements for my piece of window sheeting, or the, the window sheet. I cut this at three, I have two in here in case I lost one. I want it to be on the safe side. But see, I did lose one. Okay, oh, here it is. So, it's cut at, I think it's at about three inches by three quarters. See that? So we're going to add another little piece of wind, of, uh, tear and tape to him, to the back of the monkey, so that he is secure on that window sheet. Let's see if we can find this piece. We're just going to add a little piece, because he's going to just barely fit on this thing. Just add that right there. And we'll set him aside with the window sheet and finish the rest of the card. Okay, so now I'm done with that. So we're going to use some Rich Razzleberry, that's the color of the ink in the kit, and I'm just going to use one little bit of soft succulent. We'll do the inside first. Go ahead and glue him down. I like working from the inside out on this particular card so that when we get done and we put that belly band on, everything is done. So we're just going to lay him there, and then... We're going to lay, I had a momentary 
gassed inside my head thinking I glued it on the wrong side. You know that feeling, right? And then we'll lay him up here like so. All right. Set him aside. We'll go ahead and we'll stamp our birthday. Happy birthday. In the rich razzleberry. And it's just going to go right here at the top. Make sure everything's straight. Just like that. Okay? It's such a bold color, too. I really like it. And it goes with my shirt, so there's that. Now, bless her heart. <laughs> she doesn't get out much. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stamp the, the uh, leaf off because I don't want it to be real bold. Stamp that there. And then we're going to stamp one in soft succulent. And then soft succulent will be done. All right. And we'll just stamp him right there. Just to bring in some of the color from the card base. That one's done. I'm going to glue this guy down. Okay. Just like so. Okay. Oh, I smeared it. Oh, well, handmade. So this guy, I'm going to close this because I can see where that's going. This guy, we're just going to take this piece off. If I can get it off. There we go. And then we're going to take this and we're going to lay that down like so. And even though it's kind of showing through that the little hula hoop, it's okay because... He's going to sit in there. Let's trim a little bit off. Because <clears throat> you don't want his little arms sticking out. There, just coat. So you set him down like so. See, he'll fit just like that. So now we'll take this off. We can get that piece off. It's making a mess here. And we'll lay him down. So that you just set that window sheet right at the crease and close it up. So there he is. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. I can't wait to give this to Charlie for his birthday. <laughs> All right. So now let's glue this guy onto the front of the card. Just like that. I guess I should have stamped the front with those little, I don't know what those are supposed to be, stones or something, I don't know, matches the the print, animal, it's not really animal print, I don't know what it is, purple dots, we'll just go with that, okay, we'll set that down, I'll close this up because I know what will happen, and then, um, oh yes, some of these little stones, or whatever they are. Does anybody know what they're are? Are they, are they rocks? Is that what they are? I have no idea. I guess I should have looked at the instructions before I started playing. And I'm just going to add them up here like so. One there. Put one here. And we'll put a couple at the bottom. Okay. Now to create the belly band, I'm going to turn this over. And I am just going to bring this up. Should make sure it's straight. Move all my other pieces. And I'm just going to fold it over the top like so. Okay? It's like that. We'll add some adhesive here on the edge. Fold that back over. Make sure it's straight. There we go belly band secure. Now, because we're going to add that label, I'm not going to worry about hiding my adhesive on the vellum. I'm just going to add some right smack in the middle. Make sure we get this guy on kind of straight. That looks good. All right, we're going to stamp him. Oh, I forgot the little label. Where's my kit? There's another little label in there. Oh, here he is on the bottom that we're going to do the Let's Celebrate on. It's one of these guys, right? Yeah. And I kind of followed the example for the monkey card for this. So, 
the stamp. Let's celebrate. Get him right. There. Okay, perfect. Wipe that off. Now for the U, the sentiment actually says you did it, but I didn't want the did it on it. So we're going to mask the did it. And we're just going to ink the U. This is an important step. Take that off. <laughs> Ask me why. All right, so then we will stamp the U. I'll just put him over there. Make sure I can get ink on my fingers. We are going to add some mini dimensionals to the back of that label. I got glue dots everywhere, don't I? And then we'll layer him here. I guess it would help if I stamped straight. There we go. Now we'll add some of the mini glue dots on the back to add the leaves. And then we will be done. How about that? Take these off here. Make sure he's, yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna add another one right here. If I can get the backing off. Although he probably should have been in front, huh? Oh well, no biggie. Let's add him right here. Let's do the green one instead. Bring out some more of that green. Okay, we'll put him right over the, I squished him, we'll put him on the side. Close this up, add that with dimensionals. I don't want to put my fingers in it, get it all over my card. The kit actually comes with almost a full sheet of dimensionals, so that makes it nice. And, oops, let's get rid of all these dimensional backings. I love it when Chloe brings them in the house. Okay, so we'll celebrate you and we're done dun, da, da, da. <laughs> uh, we'll put the belly band back on so what do you think it's not really too difficult the hardest part is getting that car full card folded the first time i would take a piece of copy paper and try it that way first so that you're not you know manhandling the card stock so there you go what do you think I thank you for stopping by and spending time with me. Clean up a little bit here. I will let you know that the next month's paper pumpkin kit is going to be, they're calling it Beyond the Horizon. It's going to match the On the Horizon um, kit or the bundle and the New Horizons designer series paper. So beautiful. Um, oh, and this talks about the mini cut and emboss machine going on sale. So again, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I will catch you next week. Bye.